If you told me a week ago my bag would be looking this naughty with five days worth of work putting into it, I wouldn't have believed you. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club, about to go and play the woods. And we're just gonna go and do a nine hole course vlog because I haven't been out on the course and practiced in, well, let's say four months. And the weather's not supposed to be getting any better. Uh, and I'm up at Frilford on Friday, so it makes sense to take the clubs out. I'm gonna quickly show you guys, for some of you that might have not seen, I've built my irons, I've built the driver, I've re-gripped the putter, I need to re-grip the wedges, um, but the overall bag, I mean, cost barely nothing, and this is probably the most unique bag out there. There's definitely no other carbon copy of this bag anywhere, because probably no one is that crazy. If you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, subscribing if you are new, and um, yeah, let's go see what the game's like. So, quick round up, these are the newest additions. I've had these for absolutely ages, and to be honest, the only reason they're in here is to just resemble some wedges. I haven't completely completed it, but I could go and play with these on Friday. I didn't really want to necessarily just get anything to put in the bottom of the bag, and these will be replaced at some point, but it just makes sense to put something in there so that we do have something more lofted than a pitching wedge. Tailor-made PSI irons. I'll show you a few clips from the video over the weekend. I built these 35 pounds for the heads, which is just an absolute steal, outrageous deal. And we have now got KBS Tor Stiff Flex shafts in them with really good grips. Um, uh, so overall, probably about 60 to 70 pounds spent on building the iron, which is just crazy value. Um, we don't have a radius putter, but I do love this head cover that I got off Darren um, a couple of weeks ago, and we've got a standard ping putter that won't be coming out anytime soon. The monster, show you some clips. The Lynx driving iron, um, uh, which is gonna be finding me some tight fairways. And when I do wanna open the shoulders, do want to hit an absolute mile because Filford definitely has some of them. We've got the Brute 2.1, five degree, A-flex shaft. This thing is outrageous. And um, yeah, we're going to take it on the course today um, and see exactly how far we leave ourselves in um, to a lot of these holes. But the woods is a good course for this because there's some long holes, but there's also some tight ones. So it'd be a good measure of our bag. Guys, it has been a few days since the recording of this footage. It's been a while since we've done one of these course vlogs. Let me know um, if you like this kind of format. I'm doing a bit of shot tracer on the side, um, shot tracer, but then also um, golf shot app on the side to give you a bit more of a visual. Let me know if it's a bit too busy. Let me know if you like this kind of um, format with a bit of a commentary over the top, you name it. Um, as I haven't done one of these for a while, but I did enjoy it. Um, I'm currently in my car recording this audio before going out and doing my long drive at Frilford. I haven't told you guys, I obviously built the bag for Frilford because it's going to be sitting on the side of the tee box, but I'm not actually playing in the day. And the bag has upgraded quite a bit since this video as well. And this is why I quite like this series. My bag is going to change so many times throughout the year because we're just finding outrageous deals. Outrageous deals for me, maybe not perfect. Like as I found throughout this vlog, the PSIs, aren't great for me. They're just too de-lofted. They're too strong. I hit them a mile. They're a bit too offset. Not great for where my game is at the moment. But the main point of this vlog that I found out going out, hitting balls, testing all my equipment, which is great, is that my driver is a monster. This drive down here has left me like 70 yards in. I've never been this far down the second of the woods. I've carried that bunker on the left, which is an obscene carry. But I take any advantage of the shot into the green. No, I fatted it. 30 yards short or 25 foot short of the flag and I think you guys need to think about this as well it got me thinking I haven't practiced in my wedge game I haven't been practicing my irons I've been practicing my long drive um anytime that I do practice it's obviously out on the golf course and a lot of people come to me for a lesson and go Simon I want to gain 25 yards Simon I want to gain 30 yards because they have this vision that is going to give them better scoring ability and throughout this my long drive driver hit some obscene shots okay we hit some bad ones as well but I wasn't able to take advantage of those shots because I'm just not practicing my wedge play. And if you came to me and go, Simon, my 90 yard and in short game is obscene. Like one handicapper, two handicapper. I'm getting birdies from 45% of the time within that kind of range. Then we're going to put everything in our power to give you that extra distance. However, time after time, I see people um, go out of their way with equipment, lessons, um, uh, 
everything else under the sun to gain that extra distance. Yet when they do finally hit that golden number, they absolutely crunch it out the middle. They get that 20, 30 yards extra down there. They then end up missing the green. And the problem with that is you're never going to be able to get the scores or the um, uh, rounds that you want without being able to take advantage of when you hit a good shot. Short game is the key. And when I haven't been able to practice through winter, um, obviously kids, I can throw loads of excuses. Really, there isn't. I should be practicing on my wedge game. Let's be honest, even with the distance that I've gained from this driver, and it's an outrageous combination, and I love it, I am not getting any advantage on the golf course because my short game is just not there. And that's something that I really found throughout this video. Now, we have upgraded the irons, and we have upgraded um, uh, the wedges. Something a bit more lofted, something a bit more sleek, something a bit more where I am. Because at the moment, I'm basically pitching everything around not to mention as you've seen pretty much on all the shot traces through this course vlog very in to out and again that's something you guys especially that are new to the game your swing's always going to change i mean a lot of people watch this channel see me with a very um uh, out to in path always hitting a fade and at the moment we're very into out as you can see big draws on the golf course and that isn't necessarily great for long drive having a big in to out path that's definitely not great for wedge play either so that's something that i need to work on throughout the year but your swing changes your swing adapts it gets different as you go around um, the golf course over the years and some of you get quite upset going oh i've been working on my fade and then i've been working on my draw and then you go too far the other way it happens but my best advice to you is that when you're on the golf course and you've been working on whatever you've been working with and you get out there play with what you got on the day if you wake up and it's a draw, if you wake up, it's a fade. Or if, you, if you've been working on a swing for ages, trying to hit a draw, and then you go on the golf course and it's still fading, play with the fade. There's nothing worse than trying to change your swing out on the golf course, as that's just never going to give you good swings. Now, I hit two drives down here on the 7th as um, I really wanted to get after it. Um, I actually took a couple of provisionals on a few tee boxes um, towards the end just to see what I could get. And I mean, it's a great combination, this driver for long drive, potentially not on the golf course. I mean, um, it can be a bit erratic. I don't think I found many fairways um, uh, through this. I mean, they're only slightly off and they weren't disastrous. But again, this one here is a classic example. I've nutted it, I don't know, 320, something like that, maybe 330. I've got 45 yards left to the flag. And when was the last time I practiced a 45 degree, or not a 45 degree, a 45 yard shot? Never. It's been since I was probably an assistant in the shop. So if anything, I'm better off just hitting my two iron um, playing at the moment because it's going to leave me a full swing. I know a full swing with a 52 is going to be 100. I know a full swing with a pitching wedge is going to be 120. When you start getting these closer distances, 80, 60, 45, that's when the time and practice comes in. And any single low handicapper like your ones, your twos, your threes, scratch golfers, they are at the golf course late in the evening practicing those 45 yard wedge shots, 60 yard pitch shots 90 yard knockdown whatever it might be and that's the kind of stuff that you don't see um uh, that often when you go and play with these guys you go and play with them in a saturday medal um rock up to the tee and they chip it close and hold the putt and they make it look very easy but i can guarantee you wedge game is an endless endeavor you can never spend too much time on your wedge play and it's one of those elements of the game that um, makes a bad day um, average and makes um, a good day excellent whereas if you drive the ball 14 fairways like 100 percent, but then uh, don't hit the greens from 80 yards 70 yards 90 yards and we've all been there it's the most frustrating game of the day so work on your wedge play. I've got outrageous distance at the moment, but it's just not being seen. I probably shot two, three over throughout this nine holes, but it could have easily been two, three under if I had a wedge game of when I was 19, 20. Um, uh, nice little bunker shot to finish off there. Um, guys, I hope, you, um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Something a bit different. As I say, I'm going to bring you the footage from my upgraded bag up at Frilford, as well as um, some shots with my new driver, um, uh, seeing how far we can pump it out there. Hopefully it won't be snowing as predicted at the end of the week. Right, guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you did like this kind of format and you want to see more of these videos, then please do comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys there.